Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon White Nuzlocke! Uh, sorry that was too close. <laughs> I was like falling off my chair. Uh, in the last one we started the Nuzlocke. We have our little Tepic named Owen and a little Piplup called uh, Courtney. So, um, so yeah we're just gonna start the tutorial now I guess. Learn about the Pokemon Center. Ah, Chris, there you are. Dude, I was standing outside for God knows how long. <laughs> Traveling with your Pokemon is surely one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. <laughs> Fuck yeah, free healthcare! <laughs> this is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Alright, let's start the tour. Hi, Bianca. How'd you get past the professor? Oh, wait for me! Pokemon Center is truly an incredible place. You know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more important? And what's more is absolutely free. Pokemon Center is the trainer's best friend. Here, Chris, give it a try. Alright. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, Courtney is bleeding out right now. <laughs> She's still bleeding. Alright, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, now that your Pokemon are rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. This is the PC. It is free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take along with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while you have six traveling with you, the Pokemon that you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing, even. There's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made in your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That is great observation. Good question, I'd like to say more for now, but just ignore it and go ahead and use the PC. <laughs> she was basically like, that is a great question. Anyway. <laughs> someone is the person who made this, the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure I'm sure you'll meet someday. Alright, let's move on. Now, this is the Pokemon Mart. This is a place to buy useful items. God damn. <sighs> Excuse me. Use what items and sell ones that you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So, let's wrap this up. I'll give you some basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to Nouvella Town. One final thing. When you get into Stradian City, go and meet the inventor called Fainal. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll, she'll help you on your way. Best of luck. I hope your journey's proved to be the adventure of a lifetime. It probably will. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Mm, thinking. Alright, let me go ahead. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and label one of these boxes the, the Dock of Shame real quick. <laughs> I don't think I can though. But yeah, I can use my mouse. Alright. H M E. Oh damn. I'm just gonna put the losers because <laughs> they they lost at the game of life. <laughs> Oops, I don't know how to spell. Sorry. There we go. It's a shit. Huh. My bad. There we go. Alright, and then right over here. So if we get anyone new, it will automatically go to box one and not the loser box. Um, okay, Courtney's fine. Alright. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's take a little look-see. What the fuck's going on? Can I go to the route real quick and just level up Courtney? Is that a thing I can do real quick or will I get yelled at? I think 
it's fine. I don't think I've ever done this before. Like, <laughs> fucking just straight up train. Where's the tab key? Yeah, there it is. Now, I, I do not believe you can get Otternos on this route, so unfortunately, I cannot exploit that for, for XP. Damn, Corny! Damn! Okay! Good, good job! Jesus Christ, you're goaded! Damn! That was not expecting a critical hit right there. I wanna always get Corny to sex before shit goes down in the plaza. See, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. See, she killed the hip up. <sighs> Alright, one more. How many fucking dogs are on this? <laughs> I feel like I've never seen a pat around this route. That's a lie. We saw one, like, last episode, but... I feel like they're, like... I want to see what the percentages are for running into these two Pokemon on this route, because I feel like li like Lil Pup is like 80%. <laughs> Alright, come on. There you go. Now she's level 6. Alright, I'm gonna put Tepic at the front though. For what's gonna fucking transpire soon. What's this? What's up, Sharon? Chris, come here for a second. You're a buddy. My name is Gensis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want to and need each other. However, is this really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings at whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me. What is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today imploring you to explore the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Damn, that was a fucking weird political speech. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. <laughs> You're Pokemon. Just now they were saying. Slow down, you're talking too fast. What is this about Pokemon talking? That's a weird thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon and this is Chris. <laughs> we were asked to complete the Pokédex, so we just left for our journey. My main goal is to become champion, though. The Pokédex, eh? So, you're going to go find many, many Pokémon into Pokéballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokémon really happy that way? 
Well, Chris, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voices again. Oh my god, a hot dude just talked to me! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Got Purloin. This should be easy. Purloin doesn't really hit that hard. Because it only really knows Scratch. So, maybe we could just burn it. No. What the fuck? There we go. I was like, why is it not letting me go down? Maybe we can get a burn off of it. That would be pretty cool. I do love End's music. It is so good. More. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Yeah, he's fucking going! Come on, I'm trying to burn the cat. I got, I've seen one burn so far, and that's it. Oh. Oops. Okay. Okay, I think I fixed it. Sorry. <laughs> Scratch. See, Perlone does like no damage. See? We're fine. See, level 8 for Owen. Good job, Owen. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. He makes it seem like my Pokemon are being, like, real mean. <laughs> as long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for my- for Pokemon, because they are my friends. Huh, strange- don't call him strange! He's hot! But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers of Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going to head on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Cerulean City. I need to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Alrighty then. <laughs> I'm gonna go heal, and then we'll go to the next route. And then we'll get our new encounter, which will either be Purloin, Pat Rat, and if we're lucky, we'll get an Audino. I don't know who I, we will have just yet. <sighs> My bad, sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning. I have to. <laughs> I'm getting, like going to work soon. So I'm like keeping a close eye on the time. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Excuse me. An old bitch. <laughs> it's fucking like got in my way. <laughs> Alrighty. What do you say? I never talked to you. Watching the information change on the bulletin board. It makes me happy. I find it soothing. <laughs> okay. What a weird guy. Oh shit. Hold on. My agent's calling me. Hold on. Oh, it's my mom. Chris! It's your mom, how are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying the journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up with the transceiver now. Chris? I finally caught up to you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you're already probably heading to Australian City by now. I have another present for you, Chris. Try these on. We got a pair of shoes! When you're wearing running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read the instructions. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on running shoes and tear through your heart's content. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning. I guess it's a good thing to clean occasionally. Chris, you understand that you're not truly alone, right? You're with Pokemon. You have friends and you're always in my thoughts. That's all right then. That's all right then. Enjoy your trip. Alrighty. What do you say? Battles between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs that you can't run from. I wish you could. <laughs> That'd save me a lot of <laughs> deaths. <laughs> all right, what Pokemon are we gonna get? Oh, okay. As long as it's not a little pup. 
That's a little bit. <laughs> All right, reroll time. So we'll just run away. Let's go ahead and grab this item. A potion. Very good. I want to get Pokemon before we battle. A purloin! And it's a boy! A boy cat. Let's, I'm trying to think of a good name for that one. Alright, let's go ahead and just throw the ball at it. Maybe once we read the description, we'll have a good nickname for it. Hooray! It acts cute. It's, it's it's cute act as a ruse. When victims let their guard down, they find their items taken. It attacks with sharp claws. It's the devious Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, uh, who fuck? Who does that remind me of from Total Drama? Oh, there's someone like that, but it's a boy. Damn it! I'm really trying to think. Let's go ahead and you have a nickname? Absolutely. Who? <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on. I'm trying to spell. Dude, this is totally fucking Alondro. Okay, now I. Okay, just making sure I spelled it right. Alright. Alright. A trainer catches another trainer's eye. That is the start of a Pokemon battle. Alright, let's see. Youngster Jimmy. Pet rat. Alright, let's see what we got. Critical hit, that's awesome. So go buy my pig. Go buy Owen, he's he's sensitive. Fuck yeah, let's go. Let's go, level 9 for Owen. I mean, I guess that's fine. It's not like we're gonna be running the ghost early on, you know? Alright. What do you say? When your Pokemon don't have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in tall grass. What does this say? Cherry tips. Pokemon experience that participate in battle which you XP. Have your Pokemon battle often and make them stronger and stronger. Um, oh yeah, let's look at um, Alejandro right now. Let's see what he's got. Level 4, Careful Nature. And that means... Okay, that's actually pretty good. They don't know a lot of special attacks, so we're gonna have a buff... A, a buff cat with no special attack. That's fine. And there's Limber, the Pokemon is protected from paralysis. That's pretty good. Righty. All right, we're getting pretty lucky with these. Um, I should probably put Courtney in. Just have someone else in the front. I don't want Owen to get all the experience. Oh, shit. Okay. I really love Pokemon battles. Because my cute Pokemon will do their best in a really cute way. I bet they will try. Last Molly. 
Oh, she got a purloin. This thing's not gonna hit hard at all. Alright. Assist. But it failed, because there's only one Pokemon. Assist is gonna be actually pretty good for, for Alejandro later on, because um, we should have more Pokemon by that time. Alright, and tackle. You see that? I actually use status moves. That is so not like me. <laughs> Alright. Yep, that cat's dead. Good job, Courtney. Is that a level? Yes, it's a level. I believe our level cap is level 13 for right now. Oh, another level! Okay, good job, Corny. Learn, you learn Bite! Good dark type move. Even though I lost, my Pokemon are still cute. Okay, get, just give me the fucking money. You can go away. Corny is now level 8! Good job, girl! Alright, and we have one more trainer until we get to the new area. It's this guy right here. And I believe now, this route lets you have Otternos. So, I'm going to, like, probably off screen, or maybe a little bit today, I'm going to train. <laughs> oh, press the button again. Oops. Alright, another little pup. So maybe I'll do a little bit of training on screen. Just for the rest of time and just talk. Um, let's kill this damn thing. Uh, let's try a bite. Critical hit! Oh, this dog's gonna die. <laughs> Alright. Courtney again at level 9! Good job, girl! We gotta get uh, Alejandro in here so we can start leveling up. Probably gonna use those kinds of moves. Yeah, he she just learned bite. That's fucking bonkers, my guy. All right, let's get to the new area so I can heal. Oh wait, wait! I'm sorry. Shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pike the mic. I forgot Bianca challenges us. Hey, listen. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Please? No. Can I say no? The Pokemon caught it. Become a little stronger. Right here, not here. I come. Why would you ask if I wanted to battle then if it's like a, like, too bad? Oh, at least the other games do it right where you can just like deny and then just come back later when you're ready. And not about to die. <sighs> Send a goddamn little pup. Alright, um. Alright, bite it. Okay, that did a lot of damage. I'm proud of myself on that one. Not, my, not myself, Courtney. Courtney did the damage. <laughs> Both of my Pokemon are not here giving it all to all. Alright. So am I. Courtney bite the shit out of that dog. Alright, that dog's dead. I'm pulling a fucking Dio right now. Send out Snivy. Uh, switch. Let's just get this battle fucking over with. I gotta start getting Alejandro up. <laughs> Alright. Um, Ember. Oh, I'll be really good if I, like, burn this thing. Nope. Uh, this thing's gonna be dead next turn anyway, so... Yes, girl, you are in trouble. You're about to die to a fucking temp- Oh, she got a potion. Oh, come on, man. We're faster anyway, so we'll be fine. I think, uh, Ember gets, like, super slow, but he's like... 
very much a, like a slow attacker. I think, I don't know, I don't play, I <laughs> don't usually pick Tepic, let alone Snivy, so I have no clue. Whoa! You're a tough cookie, Chris. I'm gonna work hard to train my Pokemon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. Alright, I need to get to this town. I need to heal. Need to heal. Let me heal. Yeah, I believe we start getting Adenos, so we should be fine. Now, what I decided to do is, because I asked my boy like how we did our Nuzlocke of a of the Dream Yard. Because in there, if you battle the trainers, you get a gift Pokemon. It will be the uh, opposite monkey, whatever your starter is. So I believe mine is Pansage. So I asked him what we did, and he just said that we used the gift Pokemon, and then when the time came for us to actually enter the Dream Yard and everything for like the little event, we did our roll. So that's, like, that's probably what I'm going to do as well. Because if I don't, I think I will die. <laughs> So I'm trying to get... Where's my thing? I need, uh... I'm going to put Alejandro on the front, because he really needs levels. We got to bring out for a fucking test drive. I'm trying to get the Adeno to spawn. I don't think I can reach the, the tab key at the same... No, I can. Sorry if I bumped the mic during this. Damn it! <laughs> Stupid damn pet rat. Alright, I guess we get to see what Alejandro can do. Alright. Scratch it. <laughs> that did jack shit. Alright. Alright, you're done. You're done. You're that was a cr No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. No. No. How come it's o it's always when I get a new Pokemon, they're like the lowest level in that possible area all the time without fail. Why couldn't Alejandro be level 6, you know, when I got him? Maybe he wouldn't suck so much. Speeding up through this. And he didn't even fucking level up. Can you believe that? Where's the Adeno? I know there's an Adeno on this route. Because I've seen it once. You know what I should probably do? Let's probably go get these items over here. Why fool around? And we're coming up on time, so maybe if I, I'm gonna probably run around until I get that damn I don't know. Because I know it exists. You can't convince me it doesn't. I know what I've seen. have to look up a guide and see where Anano starts spawning because I believed it was here. I know they're definitely in the dream yard. But we can't access the dream yard until after the uh, like that certain part until after the gym. I'm gonna give up now. <laughs> Oops sorry I booked the mic. Our goddamn little pup. And we are going to uh, switch out because I do not trust 
Alejandro will live. <laughs> This probably this is probably gonna be the best option for us until we get the XP share, which I believe we get it in the th the third area. Like uh, I forgot how to pronounce it. It's based off in of New York. It's where uh, Berg is. But that's like after you do like the whole um, being up a janitor thing, you get a XP share, which I'm going to put on. <laughs> On one of my Pokemon at a time. Alright, I'm going to tackle. I just want Alejandro to have one more level. Finally! Alright, let's just go end it right here in the um, other city. Alrighty. Excuse me. Um, Alright, we got a new Pokemon. We um, we didn't die from Bianca, even though we were really unprepared. Um, and then we um, got to the new city. So, in the next one, I'll have my Pokemon all up to level 9. We'll head over to the Dream Yard and get our little monkey and battle trainers. And then we'll battle Charon and we'll see where the episode leads from there. But, um, thank you so much again for watching. I'll have some more Nuzlocks up soon, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!